Welcome on in. It's time for sports. I'm Mike Fenner. Morgan Beard is in Buffalo, and that's where we begin as the Bills and Steelers are both in search of some much needed clarity. Good evening, Sean and Jill. I'm still here live at the Prep Villa Event Center where the Class 4A PIAA State Football Championship team arrives. I'm here inside Progressive Field. It's game one of the 2016 World Series. The Cleveland Indians getting set to host the Chicago Cubs. After sitting and waiting and watching, much like me, for 21 days, the Cathedral Prep Ramblers are ready to go. We've got a battle of two teams meeting with mirroring five and two records so far this season, but they're heading in different directions as of late. Speaking of notable absences, the last time these two teams got together, it was Erie's points leader Alex Brinkett missing the game. For two teams who are more interested in taking a peek at NFL draft prospects, well, they've still got something big on the line this afternoon. Reporting for Jet 24 Action Sports, I'm Mike Fenner. 13-year-old Seth Apel, a young pitcher from Knox in Clarion County, losing his arm back on November 1st when he was helping his family cut firewood. I turned the PTO of the tractor on because me and my dad built this Lago motor and my coat sleeve got caught in that and it severed my arm. His father Josh alerted afterward by Seth's grandfather after calling for help. Seth being life flighted to the Pittsburgh Children's Hospital. A six to eight hour surgery, one week in the intensive care unit and a lot of uncertainty surrounding him. I could see this, the little nub you know, of his what's left of his arm sticking out and uh, you know really it was just thankful he's alive. After wondering whether he'd ever be able to play baseball again, April trying out for what would be his last year of Little League in Knox. There's a lot of people that didn't think Seth would be playing baseball and I was one of them. <sighs> he's always been a part of this team and uh, we love him to death. Playing in the regular season this spring at first base, catcher and outfield, Seth now having the chance to play one last summer with his teammates as a part of the Diamond Dogs. I just thought maybe I could do this. Despite being dealt with some difficult circumstances for April, it was never in the plans quitting on his dream, but rather simply readjusting his game. Three months before baseball season, I was in my dad's shop playing catch and learn how to do everything left-handed. Not only did Seth play for the Diamond Dogs over the weekend, but after recording five hits, the youngster earning MVP honors to a much deserved applause. <laughs> Paris Island, South Carolina. Not just a 13 week home where civilians transform into United States Marines, but also home to those who help mold, shape, and make those Marines. The experience of becoming a drone instructor and actually running through the cycles, it really showed me how much my drill instructors put into me. Staff Sergeant Thomas Kelly has been a Marine Corps drill instructor for nearly nine months. Constantly moving from platoon to platoon, he's seen both sides of the process of how a Marine is made. Deficiencies have to be corrected, whether it's from basics, it is how they're standing to how they're talking. The challenge for DIs? Each new platoon of recruits varies from 60 to 90 young men and women, typically ranging from ages 17 to 27. Meanwhile, often three and up to only five drill instructors at most are responsible for challenging the recruits mentally and physically through the duration of 70 training days. There's nothing that can compare to the camaraderie that you'll feel being a part of a drill instructor team and being a part of the unit where the end state is to make the future of the Marine Corps. Kelly stresses the importance of both attention to detail and focus, not only throughout Marine boot camp, but afterward as well. You put forth every single effort, every minute of every day is accounted for. 71% of Marine Corps applicants range from 17 to 21 years old, but while most are ready when the time comes, not every individual is completely prepared when they arrive on the island. You're on your feet all day. Uh, some recruits come here, they've never ran before, they've never PT before. Recruits are put through three different phases during their training. Core values are stressed as well as close order drill, physical training, martial arts training, and academics in each phase. You definitely see a lot, um, the bigger picture of why we did a lot of things, a lot of the get backs, a lot of the um, training events we did, um, a lot of the reasons that you don't really understand why your drill instructors are angry in the beginning, now you understand as a drill instructor. Ofa Mae Johnson enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1918, becoming the first female Marine and opening the door for women who have been instrumental to the Corps making up the 4th Battalion. We do the same training. We have the same training days, we do the same training events, we have the same graduation requirements. So everything is pretty much the same, just 
small changes here and there. DI say the transition from recruit to drill instructor is a very unique one, something that cannot be compared to civilian life. As a recruit, you never understand the pains and the passion that goes into transforming a civilian into a United States Marine. As a drill instructor, you, you, you experience those pains that you, there would be no other way to describe it is unless you went through. Mike Fenner, Jet 24, Action News. Racking up more than 7,000 rushing yards while eclipsing 100 touchdowns on the ground in his four years at Meadville, Bulldog senior Journey Brown found himself with plenty of options for his future, but ultimately he always knew he wanted to play running back for the Nittany Lions. They're with me from the get-go, so I mean, just for a high brand of football to uh, try to recruit me and try to get me, it felt, it felt good just to, um, to commit to Penn State. Brown, junior Isaiah Manning, and fellow senior Antonio Ferraro helped the Bulldogs amass more than 6,500 yards rushing on the way to a memorable Class 5A state quarterfinal run. Senior year just blew up because we went deep in the playoffs. A lot of schools started getting attention. Started wanting me, so it was great. One of the guys paving the way for that ground game success will stay close to home, attending Grove City College. I believe in the coaching staff, too. They got a new head coach, new coaching staff, and it's a really exciting time down there. For another interior lineman, the impressive turnaround in the borough helped him choose the Fighting Scots. Everybody seems like they want to win there, um, and that's what my mentality is. The group of departing Bulldogs see their journey as laying the foundation for future Meadville greats. I hope to see every kid that comes through the program to be able to go to the next level if they want that choice.